Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single-player episode. Uh, last time we were playing, we were trying to bunch away as much of this wood as possible, and I think we're just going to continue that trend for now, uh, just because I do want to get this stuff bunched out of here. Uh, we might have time... Actually, I have to buy... I'm going to buy them right now. I need to buy a skitter. Where the heck the skitter went? Where did my... Oh, there's my grapple. So I need my grapple... And I need my skitter as well. And we need a processor. Processor, processor, processor. Mr. Green. Where are you? I like this guy. Okay. All right. There we have it. Turn this. Pull it up. Yeah, this is a, uh, a very pleasant little area to log. It's so pretty in here. I think it's going to be pretty fun building our roads and just kind of messing around. Anybody who hasn't played this map, this is Emerald Valley. It's a early, early 2017 map that we made and remastered. It's, uh, it's one of my favorites. I really like Emerald. I just, when I built this, I just, uh, I don't know. It just really all came to me very naturally when I built it. Honestly, right now, I am so missing map editing or map making that it's like hurting me right now because i i just like want to it's like a really good way to express yourself it's kind of like painting i don't know if you guys watched my earlier like modding videos from a long time ago but i used to watch uh episodes of bob ross like on youtube but bob ross would be screaming away in the background you know talking about his talking about happy trees and bushes and stuff and i would just get so enthralled in making maps and i totally know what he feels like it's like it's like you're on a canvas painting a picture it's when you're map editing, it is crazy just fun. It's frustrating sometimes, but it's it all pays off in the end. It's just something really beautiful. It's a great feeling. So I really miss that, and I haven't... Like, it's been probably three months since... Well, not three months. It will be three months when 2019 comes out since Timber Trail was created. And I was originally... I was like, oh, man, I got these. And right now I have these amazing ideas for some ideas for maps, right? And I'm like, oh, man, this is going to be so sweet. But I'm like, ugh, I don't, I don't want to make this amazing map, release it. Because if I started making it now, I would end up releasing it like a week before uh, 27, or 2019 came out. And to me, it just feels like a waste because um, I'd say the majority of people are going to be moving to 2019. There's not a lot of people sticking around to uh, play 2017. I mean, and that's normal. I mean, that's pretty natural. People got to move forward. So, I mean, if I'm going to make a, a really beautiful map and I have some really cool ideas, then why waste it on uh, an older game? Plus, the new the new map uh, abilities to make maps and stuff, it's going to give us some really cool... Really, sorry, my, I was just waiting to hear if my uh, blade turned off. Um, it's going to give us some really cool features that we can add to our maps, which I think will be really cool. Like, we'll have the ability to... Oops, to um, have different kinds of bushes and dynamic stuff happening and I think that'll be really exciting. Kind of put those up there. Maybe we'll cut the top of this tree but we'll leave it as a placeholder here. We'll know that's the corner of our road. Is that tree as heavy as beans? All right. And, uh, yeah, there's just, there's just so many things I want to do right now, mod-wise, and I'm just, like, holding off on it because I'm like, ugh, I just, it's gonna, it's gonna be something I'm gonna make anyway, like, there's no point in doing it right now. It's gonna be something I'm gonna make in 19, so there's just no point. Might as well just wait. So that's what I'm doing. Just hold my own, waiting for the time to come on in and do the thing. And then we'll be, then we'll be set. So, that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's kind of this uh, doldrum land, which is good because now it's giving me time to record. Um, normally, what I'm doing is I'm constantly like modding so much that I never have time. When I do get spare time, I'm always modding instead of recording episodes. And I'm really enjoying making videos for YouTube. It's just I don't know. It's fun. I just have a really good time. I love. I love playing single player, like I love doing this stuff, what I'm doing right now, but I really like, um, it feel, it always felt like, 
the time I was playing single player by myself, not recording, just playing it for my own. It was fun, but it felt like I was like, oh man, this is time I could be modding. I'm wasting time. Like, I could be modding right now. So I would always, you know, start playing single player and then bail out. So by doing this for YouTube, it's almost like it's something that's required, like I need to do it. I'm not wasting time because, I mean, I'm making content, which is helping build YouTube. Um, but at the same time, I get to have a really good time doing this, like, and I get to test my machines, and I don't know, it just works out really well. So, that's kind of how I justify it in my mind, anyway. I mean, technically, I could just say screw everything and just go play single player and do my own thing. But, that's not the case in this case. Not the case in this case. Uh, so, we don't really need to go up in here, up in here, up in here, but I'm going to knock these down anyway, just so we, we might chip them, we might cut them, it's up to us what we want to do. Oops. There we go, up there. But yeah, it's always a always a constant constant battle of uh, thinking what I want to do, especially mod wise. Like right now, right now I want to make a whole bunch of ideas for mods. I have some cool things I want to do. But I'm like, well, I guess we gotta wait till 2019. No point in trying because we'll just waste it, waste it off. But it'll be worth it when 2019 comes out. We're gonna we're gonna have a time. It's gonna be really hard and we're gonna try to do like i said we're not half-assing it this time we're gonna try to do everything just like in-game equipment like it'll i want my mods to be something that you would see with the game when it came out like something that looks stock that's how good it is like telling it looks like the company designed it except for the physics i don't want that to look like the company designed that <laughs> I mean, we've uh, we've come a long way for quality and making the scale of the machines. And... It's actually really funny. So, well, you guys all remember my giant machines that were all really, like, kind of sketchy looking before I rebaked them all. And they were, like, you know, really funky looking. So, I was watching, like, YouTube stats and stuff like that. And since, since we did that big, what was it, V12 upgrade? I think it was the V12 or V10 or whatever that big upgrade was. Where we fixed the scale and remodeled them and did that huge thing. That's when the squad first started playing and uh, Daggerwind, when he first started actually looking at the mods too. Um, I think that time there was such a huge jump for us, uh, like in YouTube subscribers and views. And, and ultimately, it came down to just because, you know, we took the time to make the mods proper that time. I mean, they still weren't perfect, but they were a lot better than they've ever been. And I, f I could totally feel that they were, you know, they've changed so much for the better. That I think in, uh, when we do it in 2019, we're going to do it so right that um, hopefully every mod's going to have that same effect. There's lots of hurdles we got to get over and figure out, like controls and, you know, texturing and, you know, what's proper etiquette for certain things and what isn't, what's acceptable, what isn't. Consoles, consoles is gonna be a big one. Like, oh man, I'm actually really, I'm I'm worried because I I think it's gonna be a really long time. It's gonna be a backlog. Like it'll be a couple months before we can properly get a motto. But I mean, I'm gonna be working on it pretty extensively with the team. And I'm gonna set deadlines for us so that we can actually get stuff done in a you know reasonable manner. Because I uh, I don't want to leave everybody hanging for too long. Right out the gate, there's going to be lots of people, oops, there's going to be lots of people that make um, mods and stuff like that that are probably not going to be super, super great. But there'll be copies of, you know, this equipment. There'll be lots of weird stuff out there like that. So we'll have to really be careful how we get our things sorted out. So it's going to look a lot, a lot different for sure. Pretty shocked. 
The lighting on this map, I think, is what really makes this map exciting for me. It's just so pretty. No matter what, every machine looks beautiful on this map. So we knocked down a crap ton of trees, so that's good. Got all those cleaned out and all those. So, I mean, between what we got here, I think we should have enough to uh, make at least a decent pile of chips for crossing over that river. And then we'll do the same thing that we did on Smoky, where I'm going to fill that truck up with chips, with our, ch our um, the excavator there. And then we'll just kind of back it over these ridges. It's going to take quite a bit to fill all this in, probably, actually. But even if we have to, we can cross over there and kill some of those trees and drag them back and chip them, too. So, um, I'm just trying to decide where I want... Oh, look, I left some flying stuff up here. Oh, I don't have a chainsaw. Look at that. Surprise! All right, so we're going to jump up here. Clean that off real quick. Okay, um, so I'm just trying to decide where to approach. I think this would be the approach for the road right here. So I want to try to lay some, some crap in here. And just kind of even it up a little bit. And then it'll be a straight shot right over this lump here. Keep going right past our buncher. Or maybe we'll go sharper. Maybe we should go right down to the river. We'll use this rock as a guideline. How about that? So we'll go... Do 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 up do 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 little turn yeah just a little forty five in the in the line there yeah so that and then hard left to the river and then we'll wrap around all right cool well now we have a plan we just need to actually make that plan happen and we have to clear up a lot of this wood all right guys so I'm gonna cut it here if you guys like the video leave a like leave a comment do not forget to subscribe and if you're in the bush don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.